what's going on everybody um we are coming with another video um this is gonna be kind of a quick commentary but um on a sunday sunday night so fucking school night so um i've been posting videos a lot more frequently so this is probably the third video in a row that i've been posting um so friday saturday and sunday i believe i um i've been posting and um even though it's not been getting that much views because i'm just starting back up on this youtube channel so I'm really not expecting a whole drastic amount of subscribers, say like a hundred in one day. Yeah, that's kind of unrealistic. But you know, I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna stop just because I'm not getting a lot of subscribers. Cause I do know YouTube is broken, and it's really not broken. Broken. The biggest thing I want to touch on this video was on this game, pretty much, and I'm kind of done with it. You know, it's two weeks, and I'm already kind of sick of this game, and it's just the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep on playing it, of course, but I'm just kind of done with this console, pretty much. And I got a bunch of gameplays kind of set up. Some might be good, some might be bad. It's all like um, your guys' opinions. I just recorded and just saved them. So those are the pretty much the only gameplays I'm going to be doing on PS3. When PS4, when I get the PS4 and um, a lot of new software and everything... I will be starting everything back up because I'm gonna have my, a lot of my friends um, that's from Xbox going over to PS4, and so we could always make a team and you know kind of see how that plays out and everything. So, anyways, yeah, I'm just really sick of this game for some reason. And for the past few games, I was actually starting to enjoy it this weekend, and you know get some high kill streaks and everything, but. Yeah, the last 10 games I went to, it was terrible spawns, sitting in corners, and, you know, and it's always, this is the same thing, this is what I was worried about, this is what I was worried about, but this is the exact same, exact same thing as happened in Black Ops 2. The first week or the first month is probably the best experience you're probably ever going to get as a good player playing Call of Duty nowadays. And now, once the go hits the second month, people are going to start catching on and start being, abusing the you know the biggest perks and they're gonna know what to use that's the whole point of like being the new have being like a whole new fresh feel everyone wants to experiment and some people right away find what they like and stick with it so like all the perk setups and everything like that they, it works for them that's why and that's another thing with um pro you know with uh optic gaming everything making a video over class setups i've heard a lot of people say well, this gun don't work for me. This gun don't work like it does for them and everything. Well, they're a completely different player. They're a professional player. This is what works for them. The whole reason for a creative class is for whatever works for you. I personally do not like the perk system in this game. Um, the pick 10 was terrible in Black Ops 2. And this one, how it's got point streaks and everything. I mean, there's so much combinations, which is great. But it just does not work out the way... It goes out for me because I, I always end up getting fucked over because a guy had a certain perk that I didn't and but yeah I'm not really gonna go into too much detail but the other thing I want to touch upon was is this game healthy and I'm not talking about physical but like mental mental health because every time say if I'm having a really good day and it was a good day and I get from home from school or whatever and I want to get on this game I'm having a good rest of the day and then it seems like I turn into a whole nother person playing this game. If anyone else could like feel me on that, I know a lot of people can. Um, it just frustrates me because I always want to succeed. That's what my personality is. I always want to succeed at some something I want to love and enjoy. Just like YouTube, for example, I want to succeed and get big, and not like I know it's not going to happen overnight. And but I'm willing to work and stay at it. And say with my commentaries and everything, how they kind of be bland and. I thank Shoddy Boss. Uh, that's going to be a, a quote unquote shout out, even though it's really not a shout out because I don't got that much people watching. But Shoddy Boss, and he gave me some tips and what I could do and improve on. And I was watching his live stream last night, and I absolutely loved his live stream. And thank you so much for telling me what I can improve on. And I really do appreciate that. And so, if say if you want, want to look at his channel, I'll always leave the link in the description. So. I'm going to be working on, you know, talking to myself more and getting these commentaries down, down, you know, I'd be more, you know, have emphasis in my voice and different arrangements of 
different things make noises and <laughs> whatever. But I mean, also, you know, and I mean, it's to be expected though, since I am new at this, I kind of don't have, you know, the amount of confidence as other YouTubers do, which, you know, it's expected because a lot of people say you don't, you know, if the views that you do get and people dislike it kind of is a pretty much a pretty big setback, but yeah. Um, and, but anyway, uh, the touch up on if Call of Duty is healthy or not, but like every time I get on the game and I apologize for being all over the place, this one, but I kind of want to get this done before it's a little bit too late. Cause I don't want to be doing this commentary too late, but anyways, <laughs> what I was meaning by if this game's healthy or not, is that, you know, say you're having a good day, and I know I've been just got done, I'm going to start off where I went off, but, um, so you're having a good day and everything, and get on this game, and then it's like you're a completely different person, because you get so pissed off and so stressed over a game that is supposed to be fun in the first place, and for you to enjoy, and you paid 60 bucks for it, I'm guilty for it, maybe fucking millions of people are guilty for it, and... Honestly, I'm going to be buying every Call of Duty game out there just to test it out and see what I think of it. But, um, yeah, I, I have no idea. It's just like a, a completely different person. It's such a weird feeling how I could just become in a really good mood and then to a really pissed off, just stressed out mood and don't want to get on this game. I'm going to break this fucking disc. I want to do all that shit. Start fucking cussing. I don't want to be that person. And... This game just, just brings out that part of me that I don't like. And when I find a game that I enjoy, or like a game, say, sometimes I just join a lobby and I'm just doing good. I might not have the best score, but, you know, I actually enjoyed that game. That's what I'm going to be posting for Call of Duty. The games I actually enjoyed and were close, uh, close victories, not complete domination like everyone else is posting. And, um... It, and that's honestly what Black Ops 2's flaw was. Cause everyone was getting 200 pluses and everything, and just all there were in their spawn. All the, <laughs> they were all in the enemy spawn, just sitting there waiting for them, overusing streaks and and <laughs> yeah, it's so. And I just hope this game can get uh, come from that, cause with the new death system and everything, I just hope it stops all these hundred pluses and all these crappy players. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like it up. And if you really want to, subscribe. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that's about it for me. And I am out. See you guys later.